Alright, hey everybody, Lexi here. I downloaded CMAR's TS4 Skininator a few days ago, and I've been messing around with it. I just wanted to show you guys what I learned. Obviously, this is not a definitive guide, because I've only had it for a few days, and I didn't mess with everything. But let's open it up, and I'll show you what I figured out. So, when you first open it up, you have the ability to clone one of the skin tones. You can clone it from, uh, you know, the game be it, you know, an expansion pack or base game, whatever. Um, or you can clone a um, custom package. Uh, so you can go into your mods folder and find something that you want to mess with. Um, let's clone a skin tone from the game. I'm going to clone this, uh, this pinky color here. You've got two options down here. You can do default replacement, which of course will replace the skin tone in game. Or you can do new custom content. I'm going to choose to do new custom content. Hit clone save it somewhere, let's just save it here. Save, yes. And then uh, this tab over here, clone package editor. You can select that package that you just did. Oh look, it's right there, how handy. Um, let's talk about a lot of these windows here. So first you've got these, uh, these are the skin tones that are going to be contained in this dot package. I can, uh, I can select this and hit add skin tone. And um, now there's two, two skin tones in this package. Um, so, you know, you can do that or you can make individual ones and then merge them together. Uh, this was easy for me because I only made three. And I wanted them to be available together in one pack. So that's what I did. This window over here, uh, you can see here it says property flags. I got no idea. My best guess is that this determines who uh, wears the skin if they're randomized under, you know, one of these uh, archetypes, if, you know, they're going to wear this skin or not. I didn't mess with it. I got no idea. Feel free to mess around with that. Swatch color is the color that it shows us in game. Um, so, like, let's make this uh, sort of green. Sort order is where this skin shows up. You know, you've got your skins show up in the game and they're in a little line. This shows you where the, the this determines where the skin shows up. So if I wanted it to be very per first, I could hit 10, which is the, you know, the first sort order. I don't know if there's, if you could put like one there. I didn't mess with that. The first skin tone in the game falls under 10, so I just did that for mine. Uh, and then you've got this overlaid color. Uh... This is um, something that I messed around a little with. Uh, something that I noticed is that if you came in here and you um, and you cranked that up, it, it gave the sim uh, like a luminescent um, glow to their skin. Uh, that's the best thing that I could uh, sort of surmise. This second pass opacity directly relates to this. So if I take this and I, I crank it, light and then I um, turn this opacity up, it'll, it, it multiplies this effect. I'm assuming it does the same thing if you turn it down. I don't know what happens if you make it a different saturation. Um, makeup opacity, this is how uh, makeup appears on the skin, how saturated it appears. Mess with that. I didn't, I didn't mess around with it too much. Um, all right, and then you come over here to your previewer. This is uh, what the skin's supposed to look like in the game. Uh, worth noting that this is really an approximation. Your sim's not going to look exactly like this. Your skin's not going to look like it. So you're going to want to test it in game, absolutely. Um, also worth noting, you know, your mouse, you can't move the camera with your mouse. So you got to use these sliders. I'm going to move her down and focus it on the face for a second. Something that I discovered is that if you got light one on and light two on, that's a pretty close, um, pretty close to what the skin tone is going to look in game. So I use that to sort of approximate what I wanted things to look like. Um, so we've got all that. Let's talk about how to actually recolor the skin. So these are actually your skin texture files. You got to right click them and you see it comes up in this window. Let's export this image. Um, let's call it skin tutorial. Skin tutorial texture. And then I did this in Photoshop. As you can see, I was kind of already messing around with that. Open. Um, 
All right, so this is our skin. What I did was I just went in and I uh, just adjusted the brightness contrast and then the hue and saturation because I wanted it to be very close to what the base game skin tone looked like. You don't have to do that. You could go in and recolor this just like you would any other object. Um, as far as maintaining the skin details, um, I don't know about that. Uh, you'd have to, you'd kind of have to mess around with that. So for right now, we'll just do uh, sort of what I did. We'll just go in here and do image adjustments. Let's just mess with the brightness. So let's turn the brightness up. We'll turn the contrast down, and then we'll hit OK. File save as. Yeah, we'll just save that. Um, again, you don't have to do what I just did. Mess around with it. Find ways to recolor it in ways that will maintain those skin details. I just did this because I wanted it to look very, very Maxis Match. So we're going to import that skin texture here. And then we're going to import it again here. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. Oh, wait. Oops. Um, if you go over here to Previewer, you'll notice that she hasn't changed any, even though I imported new skin tones. That's because over here in this window, you got to hit Commit Changes. So let's Commit Changes. And you'll see that swatch changes color, and then she is clearly a different color. Um, I don't need this, this one here, so I'm going to delete it. Uh, yeah, we'll delete it. Okay, File, Save As. Oh wait, nope, sorry. Save as new package. Uh, yeah, we'll save it as skin tutorial. What did I do? Oh, it's being used. <laughs> uh, save as new package. Sorry, you gotta you gotta put a new you gotta put a new name in there. <laughs> you gotta do that, or else it messes you up. Okay, so we did that. Now let's um, let's close this program and we'll open up our game and we'll take a look at what it looks like. I am in Create a Sim now, so let's take a look and see if our skin tone showed up. And it did. You can see here it's in the first swatch here, and it's got that that turquoise color. Uh, and this is what the sim looks like. Uh, you know that that skin tone is not one I'm gonna save. It's a little yellow. Uh, but yeah, so that's how you make new skin tones. Feel, uh, go you know go download the program, mess with it. Uh, please feel free to, you know, make tutorials on what you found out while messing with it, and I hope to see everybody's new skins. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you next time.